Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be really quick. Uh, it's just going to be sort of a brief informational video uh, where we're going to talk about a new product that has just been released um, by Wham Bam Systems. It's their new flex plate system, um, but this one is for resin printers. So let's check it out. Okay, so yes, you did hear me correctly, a flexible build plate system for a resin printer. So I have the LEU Mars, um, the first one they did, not the Pro or later versions. Um, uh, I've only done a very small amount of resin printing myself because it's just having the space to do it. But I've done a few resin prints without the flex plate and with so I can give you a bit of a comparison between the two so first things first what do you get in the wham bam flexible resin plate system so <laughs> I was a bit excited to get the product so I didn't have any don't have any video of me unboxing it as such um, but if you've had uh, an FDM wham bam system you'll know the packaging is really quite good it's very solid uh, and the products well protected so obviously this is the correct size for the Eligu Mars um, I believe at the time of recording there is going to be a launch of six sizes uh, with the possibility of an extra two but that six is a definite and then potentially an extra two so at the time of recording I have no information on pricing or anything like that. Um, there will be a link in the description if you wish to purchase one. And I believe they'll be on a pre-order um, to start with, with a release in an, in the next couple of weeks. Um, there is an affiliate link if you wish to use it. It doesn't cost you anything, uh, but it does help me out a little bit. So, without that, with that out of the way, let's have a look what you would actually get if you purchase this system. So this is um, basically what would be referred to as the single kit. Uh, you can also get a double plate version. So you have a, a really tough cardboard outer box and then there's this um, real tough um, shaped part inside which is where the, the magnet and the resin plate are actually um, wrapped to. So this bit is perfectly in the middle of the box so if a corner gets damaged it doesn't damage the product um, and then it's actually also in a separate little envelope as well which again adds protection so you basically get a magnet and the flex plate um, now if we think about the FDM version you would have the magnet the flex plate and then a surface what is really cool about this and I'll show you um, in a minute is that the flex plate has actually got a laser etch texture uh, and it's double sided as well so it's it's really cool actually so in in the package you also get um, a small piece of sandpaper and this is for much later down the line when you believe that your plate has lost a bit of adhesion you can just scuff it up but that you shouldn't need that for quite some time and then there's also instructions on how to install it so with the Eligu Mars, uh, there is only one very slight modification you need to do to the machine and it, I, would I wouldn't even really call it a modification. It's basically adding, and you're probably not even about to see this, this tiny little spacer. And what this basically does is it lowers the um, arm that triggers the Z sensor and what the reason for this is, is because the magnet that we are putting on the bottom of the build plate is quite thick so you're actually bringing that whole surface down so this basically just says right reset where the trigger point is um, to take into account for that magnet so that's basically what that is um, and there's a there'll be a link in the description to the Thingiverse page for this spacer it literally takes second, seconds to print 
if you're doing it on an FDM, um, like say a few seconds, I did like a plate of six and it took about ten minutes. Um, you can also resin print it, there's no reason why not. Uh, obviously you do that before you put the flex plate system on. So, let's have a look. So, I like I say, I've got the Eligu Mars. Um, there's no resin in here or anything, I've just basically moved it over here. So, let's have a look at what you get. So, this is the flex plate itself. Uh, and I'll try and zoom you in. So, here is the, the flex plate. Um, and this is on the original Eligu Mars build plate that comes with it. It's got a tiny little tab here, which you can use for. Now this is this magnet is really strong. So there's the magnet, the wham bam magnet, um, and it, it's probably maybe twice as thick as the the FDM versions. Um, but it's super strong and the reason for it being thicker and being strong is obviously to counteract the pulling forces from the resin printer. So that's the magnet. Not really a lot to, to look at with that. Um, it's sized for the build plate of your resin printer. Um, again, link in the description to the website so you can see the sizes that are available. So let's have a closer look at the actual plate. So. It's going to be pretty hard to see, but there's a small, you've got a small bit of etched logo there. And then this whole plate and both both sides has got like a, a very fine texture. Um, and this is achieved via laser etching. Um, so it's basically it's ready to go. As soon as you've installed it and you've leveled the printer as you would, as you would level the printer without the flex plate, it is exactly the same um, and I tend to um, level my bed between every print that's just what I tend to do um, and I had no problems with adhesion whatsoever so like I say this magnet is really really strong uh, I think you could hear that incredibly strong so this is basically just a very quick overview of what the new product is that they've just launched. Um, there'll be a link to my Instagram account in the description and you'll be able to find much more close up detailed uh, photos of the resin flex plate in use. Um, it's not really feasible for me to do it on video just because of the space I've got. So. Photos were taken as and when I was using it, and then they'll be available on Instagram. As I said, don't have no idea about pricing at the moment, um, but th it really did work really well for me. Um, and I think the the whole purpose of it is that when you're if you're new to resin printing, you could be basically you do not want to scratch this the original plate. Uh, when you buy or when you start resin printing, that is basically the only way that your prints are going to stick to that build plate. And if it gets scratched or damaged, not only could you then damage the screen and the FET film, that prints aren't going to stick. So basically, it's really cool. You print as you normally would. Now, I didn't make any modifications to the size of settings. I in fact, what I actually did is installed the, the flex system, put it on the machine, and then printed a file that I'd already sliced and printed before the system. So that was able to give me a comparison um, with um, adhesion. And I do remember actually having a couple of fails with that file before the flex system. Uh, this one just worked straight away. It was the Eiffel Tower that you'll see on my Instagram page. Uh, it's got and it's got really small feet at the bottom and they just stuck perfectly well to this system um, I also have the Anycubic washing cure station so you could either remove the flex plate with the print on and just pop that in to the washing cure or there is actually um, an adapter for the Eligu Mars plate and you can literally put the whole plate with the print attached with the flex plate attached 
into the washing cure. So you're not you you're not having to do anything special with how you wash your prints. The 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 build plate, the flex plate is built to be able to withstand the use of IPA and the resin. So that's absolutely fine. So yeah, that's literally just my quick here's the new product video. Um, I'll be using it over the coming months and be posting about it so please check it out. If you've got any questions um, potentially go to Twitter and tweet to the Wham Bam Systems Twitter handle that will again be a link in the description. Um, I hope you like it, I hope you do buy one and it does what it's done for me, it's just made the whole system a lot easier to use. There's no scraping anymore and it's literally just a tiny little flex and off it pops. Really, really good. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, until next time, keep on making and yeah, I'll see you later.